not too hard. Yeah. It gives us a TV. Yeah. It gives us a TV. Got to up. Now we're going to try to do some uh, drill words so that we can uh, exercise our throat. The muscles that we normally don't use when we're speaking English. And so, because clinket makes you, your mouth, your throat move in a different manner. So, we'll use some of the same words that we used in our class the other night. Okay? And you heard them before. So, try to pronounce it the way you heard it. Dean. Okay, very good. Now, if we were down by the side of the water on the beach or the river, we'd call it in what? In what? That's how you pronounce it when you say you're by the river. In what? In what? Yeah. Okay. Now, if we were walking in the National Park and you see all the forest there, Remember we talked about that in class? Oscar too. Oscar too. There you go. Very good. We walked on the beach that one day and uh, we we came across a big rock and called it each. And then as you keep walking you come across some spiners looking like sand, tail. Okay, watch my mouth. Hey, okay, that's what makes the song good is the way you move your mouth. Okay? Okay, now, some of the words we use comes from household items like what your grandma uses to sew with. Us means spread. Kaut. That is the beads. Okay. All right. Now, going back outside, the other day we saw snow falling. Great. Dark. We see fun. Last night, though, we stopped. What we heard was rain coming down. Seal. Talk with Sitan. The Oxka will take. Sure. We're, we're trying to we're trying to uh, use words that that are things things that are around us because in our language, you have to almost live the language. Even though you heard the dog bark, we reacted to it, and they said, the upscale way cage. And we use that word cage in, that, in some of our four words, right? Okay, one more time. The upscale way cage. Word cage. Cage. There you go. Now, if you ask me that question, I would have responded to you by saying, ah, uh -huh. there you go. So now that's your response to me. Now I'm going to ask you, the you uh -huh. Very good. What color is the, the dog? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Black, right? How about Tuxi? What's the word for white or snow? Plate. There you go. Okay. Let's let's go back to the uh, the little rehearsal that we did. Remember we talked about how respectful you needed to be to your opposites, your father's people, and your grandfather's people, and your in-laws. We talked about that in our classes. So let's 
follow me on this one. Gonna sheesh. Okay. Now let's let's try that one more time. So Now that is really important on how we connect to our opposite sides. Okay? This also makes you feel culturally your father's people, your grandfather's people, and your in-laws. Okay? So these are part of three people, three clan ones where you can address them when you, when you get a chance. Okay? All right. We're going to stop right there.